Long before Christopher Lee started playing villains, he was in real life a hero. In the RAF, he worked in intelligence. Fluent in three languages, he served with special forces. After the war, he was initially warned at six foot four, he was too tall to act. But by 1957, he started a long relationship with Hammer Horror Films. They say that eyebrows are made in the middle mean that you've got homicidal tendencies. He starred as Frankenstein's monster alongside his friend Peter Cushing. And of course there was Dracula, the role that came to define him. Determined not to be typecast, he sometimes complained he had too few lines as Dracula. He sought other work and got it. He sometimes said the 1973 cult classic The Wicker Man was the role he regarded as his best work. After all, what girl would not prefer the child of a god to that of some acne-scarred artisan? A cousin of Ian Fleming, Christopher Lee memorably played the Bond villain Scaramanga in The Man with the Golden Gun. You see, Mr Bond, like every great artist, I want to create an indisputable masterpiece once in my lifetime. Well, I think the audience has to get the impression to begin with that he or she is virtually unbeatable and Bond is really up against it. In 1977, he moved to America to escape the horror back catalogue. He played a variety of roles there, did a lot of television. But then his career saw a tremendous resurgence, playing a dark character in the later Star Wars films this is just the beginning. And the role of Saruman in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. He was the only actor in it to have actually met the author Tolkien in the Oxford pub he famously frequented. We must join with him, Gundam. We must join with Sauron. Suddenly along comes the Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. And that means that I'm now known to every generation literally that exists. Beyond his career in film, Lee had a slightly bizarre success in the rock industry. He'd sung on the soundtrack to The Wicker Man and then became the oldest performer in the history of heavy metal. A single from his album Charlemagne, The Omens of Death was released on his 90th birthday. Lee claimed a direct link to Charlemagne, the 9th century king, but it took until 2009 for him to be knighted for services to drama and charity. In 2011, the director Tim Burton, who cast Lee in many famous movies, gave him BAFTA's highest award, The Fellowship 